Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike, and it's time for us to get into another music reaction. So guys, we have Emma Ruth Rundle back on the channel. It's been a long time since she's been, uh, we've had a new video on the channel for her. Uh, what better way for her to make a return than the song Return? This one is off of either upcoming album or it's already been released. I'm not sure. Uh, it's for 2021. Uh, it's called Engine of Hell. I should have looked that up beforehand. My apologies on that. Um, this is the point in the video where normally I go over lyrics and give my interpretation. I'm not going to do that for this video. reason why is because I saw uh, online where Emma Ruth uh, Rundle talked about this song. And I'm paraphrasing here, but essentially she was saying that overanalyzing or, uh, you know, being determined to uh, find meaning uh, in art, it can uh, defeat the purpose of art. So, um, you know, on one hand, I, I disagree with that because I know there's a lot of artists out there who put a lot of loving attention into their lyrics and the meaning on why they, they create something. Um, maybe in uh, artists such as painters, it's a little bit different. Um, you know, you, you, you make your own interpretation of something. There's artists out there who write songs where you make your own interpretation too. But there are artists out there who have a specific reason and meaning in their lyrics. So, uh, you know, that, that's that been my whole thing on this channel. That's been my preference. For me to enjoy art more fully, I'd like to know the meaning. That's just, if you want to call it my shtick, that's my shtick. I do it in almost every single video. Uh, I'm a song meanings nerd. I, I have that need to know why an artist wrote something that they did. It gives me a deeper understanding of the melodies and the lyrics when I know that. Um, now, if an artist is up front about, um, you know, finding your own interpretation, then I take that to heart and I just make up my own interpretation. Uh, one of the bands that I know does that and is an advocate for that is Chevelle. Um, on the other hand, though, okay, on the other hand, I, I agree with her and I understand that. Um, if you, if you delve too deep, you're, you're ruining the point of something, not even just with art. Overanalyzing just anything can really defeat the purpose of multiple things, not just art. So um, we're going to go with her wishes on and you know why this song was written. I'm, I didn't even look at the lyrics on this one. We're just going to jump right into the video. Let me also say before we jump in that this is a request for my friend Conditions and my friend Paz. I know you've seen this as well. Um, so I, I, I'm going to watch the video. I know, uh, Paz, you said you prefer just hearing the song, but... Um, it's my first time, you know, seeing this and uh, any new material from her, and I just want to experience the video. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. This is Emma Ruth Rundle, Return. And that piano is so bassy, it's like rumbling my earbuds. Very bassy. There's like no, hardly any treble in that piano. Okay, 
it sounds like we're entering a new phase here, either a chorus or the bridge of the song. Probably the chorus. But um, let me just do a little bit of commentary on the music. Um, <clears throat> her voice... Okay, so the piano in this song is so bassy. There's like no treble to it. Maybe even lowered mids or something. But um, that creates such a good contrast since this is an acoustic song so far just featuring a piano and her voice. Because her voice... Um, does have the treble on it. It's, it's, it pops in comparison to this uh, piano that sounds like this. The piano has no treble. It's just do, 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 do. Meanwhile, her voice is clear. So it, it, it really pops on this. Um, the melodies in this, I mean, it just makes me, if I were to, you know, take what her, the paraphrase part of what I said she said the song was about and take the art at face value and not overanalyze. It it just it makes me feel a little bit sorrowful, but at the same time, um, at peace. I don't know. That's just, you know, if you made me tell you my feelings within five seconds, you're like, tell me your feelings in five seconds. Go. I'm sorrow, and it puts me at peace. That's, that's what I got for you guys. So, um, yeah, I, I really just wanted to point out how good and clever that use of like no treble on the piano was to really make her voice pop on this. Let's keep going. I don't know what's going on in the video either, by the way. I did see that the dove was in the cast, like the credits of the, the uh, description of the video. <laughs> so that's cool. introduction of a different instrument. singing this part last time. Oh. I thought, I felt like we had so much more to go. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. 
So, uh, okay, first let me just, uh, Emmerich Brundle, return. <clears throat> yes, that was a beautiful song. Um, I, I, uh, I, I like it a lot. I like the melodies in this. Um, the acoustic style of it, again, it's so clever having the, uh, the you know, supporting melody of the piano there have no trouble. It really makes her voice pop on this. I think that almost... It's almost like it's necessary because in parts of this she's singing so, so faintly that it's necessary to have this be the background because that way you can hear her sing faintly. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, taking this at face value, uh, like I said, overall feelings, I feel sad, but at the same time I feel at peace. And um, just off the top of my head, not overanalyzing, the parts in the lyrics that I was picking up, I just kind of picture, um, you know, trying to return from a, an abyss or a place of sadness or something like that. You know, that's just off the top of my head, not overanalyzing anything. Um, what I did find interesting is in the first chorus, she w this version was singing of her was singing uh, that chorus, and in the end, it was the this version of her. And um, I did see that, uh, yeah, there, it's angel and then there's death. So that's the two uh, different uh, representations and they're both being acted by her. Uh, Sarah Ray Rundle, okay. Is that her sister? Interesting. Okay, and then yeah, there's the dove that I saw named Gage <laughs> in the cast. So yeah, I like this song, man. I uh, It's gonna take a couple more listens uh, for me to kind of, um, get a really good feel for it but on first listen this was an excellent and beautiful song i really liked her vocals on this too um without further ado though let's go ahead and wrap this one up i'll just be repeating myself so i feel like i keep saying that in every video now i gotta i need to stop saying that because i am repeating myself um i'll just go ahead and wrap this video up uh, if you have not heard emma ruth rundle please go check her out again she has a, either a newly released album or an upcoming album 2021 so go check her out man uh, she deserves more recognition. If you made it this far into the video, thanks for hanging out with me, and thanks for enjoying some beautiful music with me. We'll see you guys in the next one.